All right, what's up, everybody? Um, I was originally going to just make a video uh, to show my friend what I've been working on. I used to play EverQuest with. Is to, um, I figured I'll kind of make one that kind of walks through my setup, and that maybe uh, someone else would be interested in it. So, so I'm playing um, EverQuest on the Project uh, EQ, the Grand Creation uh, server. I'm using MacroQuest 2 with the E3. Uh, macros and here we are in the grand uh, Don Shroud Peaks. I spent a lot of time here uh, when I used to play back in the day. Uh, just leveling up characters, a lot of alts I uh, would bring here. This is a good spot for your, you know, from really from 25, like you can level I think all the way to like 45 here pretty decently. So um, here's my group back here. Um, so with macro quest, you can kind of have the macros running, you know, yeah, running the rest of your group for you, or I think even all of your group if you want. But I'm, I want to actually play the game, so um, usually I drive the group on my enchanter. Um, I used to pull a lot back in the day, so so I'll go pull the mobs, bring them back, and uh, and then they will take care of business. Um, so as far as uh, setting up uh, I can't I don't have any video capturing software I'm just using Windows game bar and it'll only record this window so uh, I can't really show you any of the INI files or, or even click out of this window because I've tried to record this video like four times and uh, something screwed up uh, every single time enough that I had to redo it so uh, if I click out of this window it will stop the recording um, I found so um, um, so E3 is running on all of these uh, characters uh, right now, um, and so for you know for things like buffs and that, I don't like the group stopping or anybody in the group like stopping in the middle of a fight and uh, casting buffs and, and things like that. So I have all the buffs kind of set up um, on their own buttons, and I'll usually get everyone together, um, you know, buff everybody, and then and then only have them doing this the. Uh, combat buffs uh, on essential characters you know like like I always have so spirit of wolf on me um, uh, because I'm the one doing the pulling so I have my shaman um, automatically will cast that on me so if I click that off he should yeah there he picked that up and he's uh, saying hey you, you need this so and I have that set up and I'll only turn my macro on my character if i need to cast buffs on on somebody like clarity uh, i have it set up to always keep it on all my casters um, so like i said i can't click out of the window i can click off myself i guess and uh, if i turn the macro on that should that's a self buff for me also so that here i picked it up and it's automatically putting it back on and it looks like it see it also picked up that uh my melee characters need augmentation. Who else? Do I, I, <laughs> I guess all these failed attempts, I, uh, a whole bunch of buffs have dropped off of people. It should be, she should be putting uh, augmentation on my rogue also. Let me see. I have all these boxes open and, uh, on separate monitors. Um, you know, when things are working smooth, like you really don't need to look at what they're doing or interact with it at all. But I'm still figuring things out. There we go. I'm still figuring the, this stuff out a little bit at a time. I make a new one of these buttons probably every, you know, every half hour for something new I want them to do. Uh, I need her to be able to auto detect. Uh, it, the names of the pet uh, change, so I gotta find some different. I'm sure there's some coding thing that, uh, you know, you can have it be McGee McGee's pet target or say or the target dot pet or something i don't know i have a little bit of coding experience um let's get this macro back off i made buttons to just quickly turn the macro on and off uh, for these situations um but i have a little bit of coding experience so i can kind of you know i know enough to be dangerous as my dad would have said um you know i can figure out things and figure you know Get stuff to work, but it's definitely not going to be streamlined. So, um, if you do, oh, we got somebody, uh, a wolf. Uh, all right, well, let's get right into this. So, I have here's my assist buttons. Let's root this guy. Let, I wanted to kind of show these before I used them. So, here's here's our follow button. It's just the slash follow on command, and that will tell 
um, everybody to follow whoever says that command. So that was since I'm on the Enchanter. You could put you could do that command from any of these boxes, and um, uh, anyone connected to the BCS server uh, will follow. So and then same for the stop slash stop, um, and I'll park them here. So let's get this guy. All right, so for assisting, when I first started doing this, um, you know, everybody was coming on auto assist. Everybody would come in, and and it was just bombs for your moms. And the, the you know the the mage would instantly pull aggro because he'd nuke to start the fight, and it was just a big mess. Um, so um, I tried to in the I and I file there is an auto assist percentage like that's a defaulted at ninety eight percent, but that um, I changed that number. And it didn't really affect anything. They were still uh, coming in too too soon and, and causing big aggro issues. So, um, so I set up a few different ones. Uh, starting off, then we can do the auto assist on, and then pass the argument for uh, only for melee. So then only my uh, warrior and rogue will then go in on my target. So I th actually, I th and it might even be just a mob that's in a within a certain radius of, of them. So we'll go ahead and hit that button. And then my uh, those two should go into action. There we go. So and the the warrior's set up to auto taunt, auto bash, auto kick. Uh, the rogue is set to automatically, you know, uh, assume the position in the backside and to automatically backstab when it's available. So um, you know they got sufficient aggro. So we'll just do uh, this one then puts everyone else into action. It's uh, auto assist for only casters. Uh, and then the shaman was not included as a caster, I noticed, so I did an extra broadcast. This is a broadcast to the entire group. Um, you know, turn auto assist on for only the shaman. So, that's, so then that kind of puts any everyone. Um, and then the, I further wanted to develop the, uh, get the pet in sooner. Uh, the McGee McGee's pet here, the mage. Um, so I made another one. This one took a, this was quite a few trials and errors. Uh, before I got one that was consistent, it um, it got to where a lot of times I'd have to hit this two, three times just to get it to work, and, and then sometimes it wouldn't work at all. But this is pretty consistent though. So yeah, it's, it broadcasts uh, to a specific target in the EQBCS with so McGee McGee uh, just to assist Shiver, and that would. Uh, just target his target, <laughs> and uh, had to pause. It, it wouldn't work properly if you did these back to back, and then to pet attack. So once he has the target, then he can, can send his pet after the proper target. So, so I'll throw that one in this time and see. So here's kind of the way I've been working this now. This is kind of how I got the more streamlined fight that I was looking for. Root the rock hopper will send them in and whoops, I did not mean to root. I did not mean to loot either. So the next thing I would do is slow it, send the pet in. The pet I normally will do sooner. Once they get down a little bit, now we'll send everyone else in. And uh so the in the INI file for the characters, you can have them cast uh, specific dots or debuffs at the beginning of a fight. Um, you know, and that's something I'll probably want to do someday. But these mobs die so quickly um, that it just you know the thing would be dead by the time the dots got on there. So um, so what I uh, I commented those lines out in the INI file, so they're still there. I just have to uncomment them if I need them. Uh, you do that by, oops, you do that by just adding a semicolon at the beginning of the line, and then it won't execute that line, those lines of code. All right, so we will do the same thing in. So there's a melee only. Let's send the pets, and I'll slow the mob. Okay, we'll let him beat it down a little bit more. See, he's still, still a little feisty with the aggro. And now we'll go everyone else. Yeah, so the shaman's assisting right now is he could be slowing and uh, you know, disempowering, uh, dotting, doing all that. In fact, I'll probably, for longer fights, I'll probably have him 
dotting later, but right now he's just casting his uh, his big nuke, which really isn't big, but it's you know it's his biggest spell. So and that guy, I got that at the right time in the tick. He didn't come after me. And goal is to root him directly on the group's face. Boom. Okay. Pet in. Slow. There. There. And you'll see the rogue was even auto. Um, what do you call that? I didn't play a rogue, but what's he doing? Hiding. He's hiding when he gets aggro, and you'll see the rock hopper go back to the tank. So the only aggro tag really being played then is just with the melee. The cleric is set uh, in the I and I file to cast uh, Celestial Health, which is to heal over time at uh, 75 or 80 percent. So in a normal fight, she'll never even have to cast like a real heal. Um, and I think I have her set up to like start a complete heal or something at like 30 percent if the if, if the stuff's going down. Um, I don't. I don't know if I showed these earlier, so we got symbol wearing off. I do like to kind of keep those on. Here's my buff, or the yeah, to have the cleric buff everybody. It just broadcasts, um, you know, E3 is running, so uh, anybody that sends her a tell uh, with a spell, she will cast it on them. So I just broadcast to have everybody send a tell to her uh, asking for that spell. Well, at the same time, I'm sure there's a sure there's a shaman buff missing somewhere. He's memorizing it. There we go. It is kind of a pain in the butt. Like I do have to go through and um, you know the way I'm doing it, which I'm sure there's way easier ways. But I have to go through and you know every time I get a new spell with somebody, I have to go and change the buttons. But you know if you do it. As soon as you get it, it's really not that uh, not that big of a deal. You know, there's there's quite a bit of uh, you know there's a lot to this. Uh, it's it's not you know don't ever expect to just be able to download you know macro quest two and and then just go and have everything just work right off the bat. Like you, there's quite a bit of uh, tweaking. See, there's something else I gotta figure out. Like I need to. Um, because I'm eventually going to be doing some tailoring. So, so McGee McGee here, he's set up to auto loot everything. Um, and he leaves behind stuff and just links it. Uh, so I've just been picking it up with my enchanter. I need to figure that out. I'm sure there's just a list somewhere that you, you know, that's like a, you know, do not pick this up list or something that, but, um, but it is nice, uh, especially with coin, because he'll, you know, the coin will add up, like, once you get into the higher higher level zones, like, coin will add up pretty quick, That it, at least that he's picking all that stuff up, too, and, and you don't have to do everything. Go get him, boys, there we go. God, I'm really happy with that pet assist button, because, man, that was not working for a couple days, and it was just annoying frustrating. Alright, so, I mean, this is pretty much it. Um, I don't know, you know, I set up other buttons for, you know, like, uh, for Lesson of the Devoted to turn it on for everybody all at the same time. I just uh, mapped that button in the minus key for everybody's hotbar, and I have just made a button that broadcasts to everybody to press their minus key and so then turn it you know everybody turns it on all at the same time same thing uh, for auto inviting uh, to invite to a group um, you know you save the group uh, you group up save them as a group and name it so I named it main so uh, this just uh, automatically forms this group I just hit that button and everybody auto accepts and uh, joins up so um, but yeah if you um, if you have any suggestions for me on things that I can streamline or uh, do better please let me know and um, you know like I didn't really plan on making uh, a lot of videos like this but if you wanted to see more as I progress through this just let me know and maybe I'll make some more so 
Um, thanks for watching. Take care.